Dragon, we copied all, and we see the vehicle chasing down the International Space Station on orbit. Uh, nose cone opening is in progress. We saw nominal dehumidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts. With that, you're go to raise visors. And uh, I've got one final note. We have a tradition on board this spacecraft for its travelers to bring a small token, a zero-G indicator, if you will, to clearly demonstrate the, the free-floating nature of objects traveling in orbit around the Earth. And I wonder if you've brought anything fitting that description. Well, you should ask. <laughs> oh, man. So per tradition, we, of course, have a zero-G indicator. It's already been deployed. The significance of our zero-G indicator is not, not actually what it is, but who chose it. Many parents around the world have jobs that take them away from their children and families for long periods of time to serve their communities, their country, and the world. Military families are a prime example, but many jobs, including our own, share this trait. The choice of the zero-G indicator was given to my daughters to represent the sacrifice that children everywhere make while their parents are serving away from home. We chose a stuffed family dog, and she is free-floating here today. Getting great views of Crew 8 on board their capsule there and standing by hoping we might get a shot. There is their zero-G indicator. Loved hearing the crew's description of who chose this, uh, who chose this animal and why, and everything that it means to them, to their mission, and obviously the community standing behind each of these four astronauts. And in addition to that, we heard some great words from the crew expressing their thanks and excitement to be on orbit. Really great to see them successfully on their way to the International Space Station. We had a successful nose cone deploy as well as those Draco checkouts. Everything continuing to go really smooth. So for now, we're going to end our coverage from here in Hawthorne until we pick back up with our docking coverage in about 26 hours. So for now, we're going to hand it back over to Megan and Raja at Kennedy Space Center to wrap up today's launch coverage.